How do you choose to pay? The way you're completing transactions may make you part of a common cashless society that we're seeing. Most people are aware um, cash is becoming less and less prevalent in our society. Um, people are using debit cards, credit cards, uh, contactless payments, all those kinds of things, apps and, and that kind of stuff uh, to make payments at stores. They're using online bill payment. They're using all sorts of technologies. There are a lot of ways to pay. No cash needed. Debit cards, a lot of people use credit cards. A lot of people get rewards on their credit cards, so they like to, to utilize that. Um, Apple Pay, Google Pay, all of those things are becoming much more prevalent in the society. Um, contactless payments are, are becoming um, even more top of mind, especially because of the pandemic. While we're seeing an increase in cashless payments, there's a decrease in coins. Are these cashless transactions contributing to that shortage? The coin shortage is really related to the pandemic and the, the shutdown of certain um, businesses. You know, a lot of large banks in big cities are not open um, and they're not taking in the coin and things like that that they would from their, their vendors. Now, as the economy starts to open up, we're starting to see a need for the circulation to take place. And think of it sort of like you're shutting off your water to uh, perhaps change a pipe or whatnot. Once you turn it back on, it takes a while for it to get flowing. Going cashless also gives people a sense of safety amid the pandemic. Individuals tend to, during these time periods, have been a little bit hesitant to use uh, coins uh, for fear that there's potential transfer uh, of the virus, although we see that that's a very low risk in general. While this option may be convenient for you, it can mean inconvenience for others, particularly businesses. It could cause some concerns maybe for businesses because it it's not free for them to be able to process debit cards and credit card payments. So there are certain businesses that tend to be very coin intensive in their usage. So laundromats and vending machines would be great examples of, of businesses that operate based on the use of coinage. The slowed circulation also makes it harder for businesses to order more coins, but not just businesses are suffering. Some people depend on cash for their transactions. Some people aren't able to get bank accounts for whatever reason. Some people don't have the internet access that they need to be able to manage their money online. Banks on a federal level see the issue and are stepping in. The Mint and the Federal Reserve uh, banks, they're working on plans to get uh, currency flowing again. Uh, it's going to take a little while for us to catch up. In fact, we may not find ourselves completely catching up uh, until the point in which the economy is uh, fully uh, functioning. You can do your part in reducing the coin shortage issue too. Things that, uh, that individuals can do is to think about taking coins to their local banks or to Coinstar kiosk uh, and paying with cash. When they're paying with cash, uh, trying to use exact change. Next time you're ready to cash out, consider the way you're paying. Are you a cashless spender? Odessa Meredith, your Erie.com.